So the gauges are going to be A, B, C, and what? D. So we have A, B, C, and D. So you try to join them with dotted lines. Okay. Then you draw something like a circle, not a circle, but something like an over. All right, so you find the perpendicular bisectors of the four lines. You can see clearly that A and B, the bisector of them can be, be in the middle. A and D will be here, B and C will be here, and this will be here. So we just draw a straight line like this, okay, towards this bisector. Then we also draw another straight line towards here so that we can get the bisector of all the sides. So this entire region becomes area of region A. Then this region becomes area of region B. This one, area of region C. This whole region are for C. Then this two becomes the area of region D. So this is how four gauges are done. The calculations follow the same calculations as we did in our previous video region for two gauges and also four gauges. You should try as much as possible to follow that trend and do the calculations for each region. The only difference is that the average precipitation here is going to be four. Region A, region B, region C, and region what? D then the calculation follows the same trend. So that is it. In five gauges, we have to locate the points, point A, point B, point C, point D, and what? Point E. From the here, any, any how you draw it depends on the point A, point B, point C. Point D and point E. So you try to join them with dotted lines. Then you are going to find the perpendicular bisectors. Now you can draw a bisector from this point to this point. Then from this point to this point, then you are good to go. Mind you that the bisectors, the, when you are drawing the lines together, they shouldn't cross each other. Like this line, there shouldn't be another line that will cross maybe this one. It makes it wrong. So in joining them, you have to be smart. One line shouldn't cross each other. Okay. So here to here, here to here, okay. So that this one doesn't cross the ones we are using and joining. So from here, then you take it from the the bisector. Take this. These are triangles, okay. Triangle, triangle, triangle. So the bisector from A to B will be found somewhere here, and this bisector from here to here will be found somewhere here. So that. This bisector here cannot be joined because we have to come from, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to draw my circle first, sorry. So the bisector here and here will be found here. Here and here will be found here. So I can draw this line here because I know that this is certain. Then I can draw the bisector here too because I know that this is certain. By the third bisector, I can't draw it because I have to extend it this place because it is the same bisector between B and E. So I will just extend it to the middle. As soon as I extend it, I can see that this is certain. This two is certain. The bisector here is certain so I can draw this bisector. But this bisector cannot be drawn because it is not certain for here. So it has to engage itself in this bisector too. So I will just extend it to the middle here. So here is certain. 
I know there should there's, there's supposed to be a bisector here, so I'll draw to this side to a setting. Which bisector is left? Yes. So that bisector have to go. So I'll just demarcate the regions. So region from here to here becomes region A. From here to here becomes region B. Here region C, region D, and here passes here region E. Then I am done. So you just demarcate it. Remember on the graph, it's already there. So I'm not going to do these things I'm doing on the graph. The markings, uh, the markings are already there. So on the board, I have to do this to show the differences between the regions. Right, so we are done. So the calculations follows the same trend as gauge one, gauge and gauge two. A two gauges and three gauges. Just that here we are going to get region A, region B, region C, region D, and region E. And you follow the conventions as well when you are told according to the questions.